me. Just how to how to play that season. Uh, it's a playoff atmosphere, man. Um, I've been in here before in the Western Conference Finals, tw three times now, and uh, I think they're just as loud in the regular season as they are, you know, um, around this time. So they, they're a consistent fan base who's loyal, cheers for their team loud. I went to college down here, so I know how deep that Spurs love is, and um, it's going to be exciting. It's exciting, you know, it's a great time of year for basketball players and fans. Uh, Around the country, around the world, and um, you know, tonight is going to be one of those. Well, tomorrow night, I'm sorry, is going to be one of those games where everybody's going to be tuned in. I know it is different for you because you're different from three but I mean, do you find yourself like a third battle with them in the West Finals, kind of like? No, I mean, not really. I mean, you look, you look at a team each year, then you know things change, stuff, you know, the roles change, players move, so it's a different team, obviously, but. You know, being in this atmosphere against this team, I know what it's like. And, uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't find myself thinking about it too much. But, you know, just, just walking in here, walking into the locker room, um, as an opposing player, um, you know, brings back a little bit, you know, a couple of memories of, of playing here. Kevin, the Spurs still list why today is questionable. Do you still approach that and assume that yeah, the questionable we, turns out he's going to play tomorrow? Yeah, he's going to play. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's going to play. It's game three. At home, he had a few days of rest on that ankle, so I, I know for 100% sure he's going to play. Uh, I haven't talked to anybody, but that's just my gut. Uh, so they're a way better team, obviously, with him on the court. They pose a different threat, and uh, we're excited to play. They're excited to play. It should be a fun matchup. Are you preparing, like, the double and feast them? Yeah, we, yeah, we've been preparing for that, you know, after game one. You know, um, He's a huge part of their offense. You know, he has the ball in his hands every play, and he's making plays great for his teammates, for himself. Uh, so we we scout as as if he's going to play. So uh, it's no different now. What do you think of that lawsuit that a San Antonio fan did against the Warriors and Zaza? <laughs> that was funny. That was hilarious. That's how that's how serious they take the sports um, nowadays. Uh, well, that was laughable. No, he's a 14 year veteran. Grown ass man with two kids. A couple, a couple jokes thrown his way here and there, a couple boos. I don't think that's going to rattle him at all. Uh, he knows he got his back. <laughs> it's not that serious. Kevin, you guys are 10 0 now, and I'm just curious, as in your mind, what's driving you guys? The average win margin is 17 points a game. What's driving this, this, this thing right now, this mission? Oh, we're just trying to go out there and play. We're not coming out the locker room saying let's win by 17 or, you know, of course you want to win. That's the goal. We don't even have to talk about it, but we just go out there and try to take the possession at a time and play good basketball each possession. You know, we pay attention to the little details and that's, uh, that brings some success for us. So we got to continue to be that way, but we got to know that any given night we could be beaten if we're not on our game. So, you know, I think we're, um, we're confident enough to know that when we play well, we're pretty good. But we also know that when we sluggish, we don't pay attention to the small details, we can be beaten any night.